Once the iPhone has been powered down, you'll need to remove the bottom two Penelope screws that are located near the charge port. These screws anchor the bottom of the display to the phone. After those screws are removed, you can begin to slide an opening tool in between the plastic frame and the metal back housing. You'll then have to pry and twist slightly to unseat the screen, though you may have to do the same thing on the other side of the home button to unseat the screen completely. Before proceeding any further, the battery should be unplugged. Removing the two Phillips screws will allow you to remove the shield that covers the clips for the battery and charge port. Once the shield is off, simply unclip the battery. To remove the display, you'll have to remove the five total Phillips screws that hold the shield on top of the clips for the display. When repairing iPhones, you'll want to keep very close track of the screws, as if they're put back in the wrong spot, they can cause severe damage. After the shield is taken off, you'll need to unclip the following flex cables. The home button flex, the flex for the front camera assembly, the flex for the LCD, and the flex for the digitizer. The screen should now be free from the phone, and the front camera assembly can be removed, starting by removing three Phillips screws and the bracket to hold the assembly in place. Now that the bracket is off, the front camera flex can be folded to the left to expose the ear speaker piece, which should just slide out. The proximity and light sensors can both be unsat by prying on the left and right sides of them. The only thing left holding the assembly in now is the secondary microphone, which can be removed by carefully sliding an opening tool underneath it to unadhere it. To install the new front camera assembly, the secondary microphone will first need to be adhered to the speaker mesh before the proximity sensor and light sensors can be laid into their respective spacers. Once you're able to get the sensor sitting flat in the frame, the ear speaker can be put back into place by aligning the speaker opening and the rubber spacer. Next, the front camera can be folded back over the ear speaker before replacing the bracket and three screws that secure everything into place. Before reattaching the screen, you'll want to make sure that the flex cable for the front camera assembly is folded on top of all the other flex cables, as the cables clip in in the following order. The clip for the digitizer. The clip for the LCD. The clip for the front camera assembly. and the clip for the home button. Once the clips are put back in in the correct order, the shield and its corresponding screws can be replaced. The battery can now be clipped back in and the two Phillips screws and plate that secure it in can be replaced as well. To close the phone back up, you'll notice little plastic hooks on the top of the display frame. These will have to be embedded into the back housing before the rest of the screen can be sat in. 
Once the display is sitting flat on the phone, the two Penelope screws can be replaced, finishing the repair.